What's up, Cancer? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to do your messages for this uh, week, starting June 3rd, 2024. Cancer, I hope all is well. Um, I'm trying something different again. You know, I'm always trying to do something new in terms of my channel. And basically, I've combined two decks, okay? The first deck here is from uh, Cyril Marchetti. Okay, and this is just a regular playing, uh, it's a 54 playing card deck. I took out the Jokers, and then what I did was I added all of the major arcanas from the Radiant Rider Tarot deck. Now, and on Gemini's uh, video, because they were first, uh, I didn't do the, you know, what I did last week, but now that I have some sort of, um, you know, uh, way of, well, technique, because I didn't know how it was going to go. So I just held off from doing that, but I did do the shadow for them. So I'll do the shadow this week, but next week I'll use the same uh, cards and energies, and then I'll do the, you know, the two cards like I did previously, because that gives you more information. All right, so uh, we're just going to cleanse the energy here from doing Gemini's reading. And I said in, uh, mentioned in Gemini's reading that these two cards or two decks are similar in size. So that turned out to be very perfect. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. Phone always goes off. Okay, so let's shuffle the energy here, cleansing the energies from Dawn Gemini's messages, and see what's coming up for my fellow crabs. What is the potential energies for cancer uh, this week ahead? June 3rd, 2024. Okay, we're not going to use that one. All right, so we're going to start off Cancer with a Major Arcana already because these cards are different in terms of color, right? So let's see what the Major Arcana is energetically for us crabs um, coming up this week. And we're going to start off, well, look at that. <laughs> you start off with your own energy, the Chariot. All right, so this is a strong, positive force of energy, Cancer, that may be coming towards us or you're moving towards it. I always emphasize that the Chariot could represent... Um, you know, definitely positive movement. So you can take those movements, those changes and apply it to whatever your situation may be. Of course, we didn't, we, well, we started out with the first card, but we don't necessarily need pentacles here for me to indicate that there could be some crabs out there who are considering thinking about purchasing an, another car, a new car. doesn't have to be new. Could be traveling cancer if you are, you're safe to and from. And then also to the uh, chariot, I equate with the star card. So whatever it is, cancer, that you're wishing for and uh, praying for, hoping to manifest, may manifest for you this week. Also, social networking, social media falls under the energy of the chariot, as well as um, car repairs, major or minor. Just don't be the crab that gets behind the will of a vehicle and disregard the speeding limit because you will end up with a moving violation. Next card up for us, Cancer, is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, in this case, is the Six of Hearts. So going down memory lane, feeling nostalgic. Somebody from your past, Cancer, is thinking of you on a highly emotional level. Um, you may have thought about them and, you know, kick that energy out there to the universe and maybe, to, you know, trigger their uh, energy. So now there's some sort of synchronicity type stuff going on here so whoever this is this could be family this could be friends definitely somebody that you may have been linked to romantically but you haven't seen them in a while well they're thinking about you and um they may reach out to you um also the six of uh, cups here also, you know there could be some cancers who are you know memorializing someone um who they were once close to or they knew now they're in spirit but the date significant would be june uh, second, I think this is the start of that energy or the June 3rd, right? And then it would be the 9th or the 10th. But that's just my way of coming up with, um, you know, some sort of connection. But it could be almost anything or any dates. But I think that there could be some cancers just 
you know, if you're not memorializing someone, at least you're thinking of someone who is no longer here. This particular week, I don't know why. Mm, okay. Following the Six of Cups, now we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Diamonds in this suit. And so this could be a job offer. This could be a contract offer. Of course, this could be the creditors, money, um, you know, for some cancers looking strong. So it could be uh, definitely pay raises, you know, promotions. Um, the attributes of this uh, card here alone could be just, you know, how other people view you, cancer. You know, that you're always there. You're always... Um, you know, lending a helping hand, it doesn't always have to result in money, um, but you're there to support them because this character here is always nurturing, supportive, very, you know, mature. Some individuals, you know, um, could be an aspect that you, you know, uh, are indicative that you're a good money handler. Okay. It could also be for other crabs out there that your money situation could be finally getting uh, some sort of improvement or stabilizing. Businesses, cancers who run businesses. That's the king of pentacles. Money is, well, if you need to expand or if you need to tap into that um, energy or resources, it's there. It's available. Like I said, creditors, if you need to apply for creditors, a uh, credit, I'm sorry. And if your boss in the workplace environment, ask favors and will, it shall be granted. Still could be linked in with romantic energies. Okay. So business partnerships can be formed. Romantic partnerships can be formed. These people usually like the finer things in life. Always willing to share, you know, never coming across as um, stingy or selfish. Very, again, mature. They may have accumulated some wealth along the way. They may be running their own business. Following the King of Pentacles, now we have the uh, Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is like that of the chariot, wish fulfillment. So again, Cancer, there is something... If you are wishing for something, praying for something, hoping to achieve something, again, it may manifest itself for you this week. Throw that energy out there to the universe in the form of prayers, mantras, affirmations, and just let it go. Um, so wish fulfilled, possibly. Now you got two of the energies here to help, whatever it is that you want to manifest to come along. And then also too. This is the uh, yes answer to all romantic questions. Like the chariot, these the nine of uh, cups in the chariot are the only two cards that I equate with the star card. So again, you got more social energy here, social networking, social media. It is not an even number of cups, but, you know, given the fact that, you know, what you put out there, cancer, is what you're going to receive back. All right. And this is also one of the cards that I, um, you know, claim where you achieve some sort of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, as well as contentment based on the established relationships that you currently have or the potential of an establishment with romantic partners, platonic friends, or it could be a deeper uh, aspect of some sort of fam you know, family dynamics. Okay, it's a lot of love going on here emanating. Next card up here for you, Cancer, is the Queen of Cups. Okay, the Queen of Cups and Queen of Hearts in this case. Mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. Look, in the middle is the Nine of Cups. She mirrors over here to the King of Cups. So that could be the formation of business partnerships, romantic partnerships. She is the mother of all love. She's very intuitive. So definitely, we started off with your own energy, the Chariot. So now you have the Queen of cups so this could be female cancers it could be your mother it could be um for male cancers your wife your girlfriend um good nurturer okay pay attention to your intuition trust the process that you feel and get if you get inner voices or you know gut feelings and stuff cancer you always have to go with that all right and also i regard the queen of cups as those um People who work in the industry of, you know, caregiving, helping others. And it's not always about, you know, nursing. It's always there to help others um, any way that, you know, that they can. So these are very good people who are, you know, just there. And you're a part of that energy. Like the Nine of Cups here, Cancer, the King, I'm sorry, the Queen 
is the establishment of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment based on what did I say? The relationships, the connections, or the potential of uh, future relationships or connections. Following the Queen of uh, Cups here, now we have the Ace of Spade. Okay, so the Ace of Spade is the... Um, Actually, this is pretty good because this is the Ace of Swords, <laughs> okay? So the Ace of Swords, the spades in the deck are swords. So the Ace of Swords is victory and success, right? It's a card of communication, um, clarity. So, you you know, wanting to gain some sort of clarity. And it could be, you know, involving a situation, person, or event. Some crabs may be seeking some sort of excitement or adventure this week. A great deal of uh, determination, maybe, you know, clearing up some sort of uncertainty or confusion around a situation, person or event. Very positive, though. Like I said before, victory and success. And you can attach that to anything that's going on in your life. Cancer. Following the ace of swords. Now we have the seven of clubs, seven of clubs in this case. Uh, cancer would represent the seven of wands. So this is the card that represents decisions and actions. But you know, in using a regular deck, I say, if you don't follow through with your actions or your, you know, your decisions this week, cancer, then this is my regret card, plain and simple. Stand your ground, follow through on what you're going to do in terms of your decisions or your actions, and you won't have any problems. Up next now, we have the 10 of cups. The 10 of hearts is here. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I love that underneath the perp, you know, the people card, the money, the money card. So again, even number of cups, cancer, emotional, the establishment of emotional happiness, fulfillment, contentment. Somebody could be getting married this week. This is an equal number of cups. So celebrations of all kinds fall underneath this. You could be having, um, you know, getting together with, you know, it could be barbecues, family picnics, reunions, whatever you want to call it. It's just having a grand time, okay? Feeling really, really good because of those people who are near and dear to you in terms of connections or have the potential of connecting. So this, on an emotional level, you have the Six of Hearts, the Nine of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, and the Ten of Hearts. So I feel that, you know, uh, outside of the, you know, the cards here, this is just my own personal feelings that there should be some cancers who have an extraordinary week when it comes to good emotions, cancer, good emotions. And, you know, we need that, right? We need to have something good happen, um, for us, but it's, you know, having that feeling and sustaining that feeling, um, all of, week, yeah, all of next week. All right. Following the 10 of, here's another major arcana, so you know that if it's blue, if it's not this here, then it's a major arcana. So let's see what major arcana wants to surface for us besides our own energy here, the chariot. And then we have the temperance card. So uh, major arcana temperance is here in your spread. She comes along to restore balance. If there was some sort of balance or some type of energy uh, in your recent past, maybe, you know, you weren't feeling you know, at peace with yourself or at peace with others. She comes back in to do all of that, you know, restoring peace, restoring harmony, uh, rebalancing our energies. It could be for some of us, uh, our emotions. Uh, this also too represents relationships, but um, I read the temperance card as mother nature. So we could just be spending some time outdoors, cancer, enjoying mother nature and God's beauty. Okay. Loving yourself, loving others, knowing your worth. All fun falls underneath the energy of the temperance card. All right, so the last card I have for you, Cancer, is the... Um, okay, now you have the Knight of Cups. It's all about that romance. Okay, the Knight of Cups is here. Well, wait a minute now. I want to make sure that that is the Knight of Cups and not the Page of Cups. This would be the page of cups, okay? Because the next card in the spread, in the suit, it would be the king of uh, hearts. So this is the page, even though it says the knight. And I think I made a mistake when I did um, Gemini's reading and I called it out as the knight of uh, wands. They have the jack of spade, I think. No, they have a jack of, uh, somebody had a jack of clubs. So that's actually the page. But anyway... It's all good. So we got the page. So this is, look, you got more hearts. 
Okay, so this is the page. This would be a job offer, pregnancy news. Okay, childbirth. I always talk about, um, you know, relationships uh, for whatever sign that I'm reading for. Could have entered into a new relationship and it's less than 30 days old. Okay. All right. So we finished off pretty good here. Let's throw some shallow cards here and see what they want to add to the spread. We have the five of clubs. Five of clubs is the um, five of wands. So, you know, it's the projection of energy that may come on to you from others. Cancer and always tell you guys not to engage, disengage. If, you know, someone tries to start petty fights or arguments with you, it's not worth it because it's what's going on with them is not what's going on with you. And because you had such great energy here, it's not even going to be worth it. <laughs> so it may be that you just experience some, you know, uh, moments of inner restlessness, and that's not going to stick around. That too shall pass. Then we have the four of um, diamonds here. In this case, it's the four of pentacles holding on tight to something. It still could be a small pay raise. Something may mean, you know, need to be released and let go a little bit cancer, whatever that is for you. All right, saving up for something greater, pay raise. I said that already. Um, withholding love and affection towards someone or someone's doing that to you, right? Something needs to be released. Um, it's still a money card, though. All right. Last card that I have is the Two of Cups. We finish off with the Two of Cups in the shadow, adding to the hearts that are already here. The Page of Hearts. I'm, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, now you got the Two of Cups. It's all about relationships. So this card could come through for those cancers who are already in established relationships and you're equally enjoying each other's company, the relationship that you have, um, sharing like-minded energies. Um, definitely what you give is what you're going to get back. This also to be could be for these cancers who may be invited out on a first date. This is uh, invitations to go out on the first date, if that's possible. And then bringing in new uh, romantic partnerships as well. All right, Cancer, this is what I have for us this week. And for <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I like, you know, kind of like the energy here, really. Uh, so next week, I'll do, you know, two cards on each and then give you more information. Won't do the shadow, though. Uh, I'm just doing the shadow because I... Didn't know how it was going to go by using the double decks, but uh, I think I got a handle on it now. And so, um, you know, if you can, please like the video, share the video, comment. I always like the comments to come through. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Um, for many of you, including myself, it's going to be a good emotional week, which is, you know, something that we definitely need to occur or happen. And maybe this energy is preceding even though it's, a, you know, ways off, you know, our birthday energies. But anyway, come back to get more of these messages uh, from me. Um, definitely take what's going to work for you, Cancer. Leave the rest alone. Remember to keep smiling, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.